ich weiß, dass hier an diesem Platz Bücherverbrennungen stattgefunden haben. Und jetzt diese, wenn das leere Regale sein sollen, dann hat es vielleicht damit, steht das damit in Verbindung. At midnight May 10, 1933, German students, supportive of Hitler's ideas of purifying the German language and literature, organized a massive book burning on the former Opernplatz in Berlin. Over 20,000 books perished in the flames, destroying works of so-called un-German writers, poets and scientists. Among them were works by Karl Marx, Sigmund Freud, Helen Keller, Bertolt Brecht and Ernest Hemingway. One author whose writings were engulfed in flames was Heinrich Heine, who wrote the following more than a hundred years earlier. Wherever they burn books, they will, in the end, burn human beings. The book burning in Berlin and other cities in Germany caused an enormous reaction in the United States. Thousands protested by marching through the streets of New York. American author Helen Keller wrote an open letter to the German students. History has taught you nothing if you think you can kill ideas. You can burn my books and the books of the best minds in Europe. But the ideas in them have seeped through a million channels and will continue to quicken other minds. In 1995, the Israeli architect Michael Ullmann created a monument to commemorate this prelude to the Holocaust. The monument is an underground library with enough room to fit 20,000 books. It consists of a 5 by 5 by 5 meter underground space that can be viewed through a glass cover. It is subtle and easy to miss, but the monument asks us to reflect on history and ourselves in order to prevent history from repeating itself. Jede Art Denkmäler sind immer gut für die jeweilige Zeit, also auch für diese Zeit. I actually think it's a great way to commemorate it. I think I think the empty bookshelves tell a really cool story. I think it uh, it, it shows a lost place in history, right? Uh, I think it's very symbolic. I think it actually gets uh, gets you thinking a little bit more than something that's maybe a little more in your face, you know. Also viele sehen vielleicht da die leeren Bücherregale, aber wissen gar nicht, was dahinter steckt. Und deswegen ähm, finde ich schon, dass da auch Aufklärung parallel zu betrieben werden soll. Und ich glaube nicht, dass jüngere Leute sich unbedingt von Denkmälern besonders angezogen fühlen. Ich glaube, dass man am meisten daraus lernt, wenn man Dinge handfest vor Augen hat und vielleicht das Ganze sich auch irgendwie plastisch vorstellen kann. Und deswegen glaube ich auch, dass man da einfach mal im Geschichtsunterricht ein bisschen mehr irgendwie versuchen sollte, die Orte aufzufinden. Memorials do have a, an important place in life, but I think here in Germany and in Berlin we can tend to overdo it a little bit, because I think um, memorials are there to show something of the past, which is good and which needs to be taught also the future, uh, for the future generation, um, because there's always something to be learned from it. Um, but if you get stuck in the past, then I think something starts getting wrong. You know, history, whether it be good or bad, history is important that it's documented and remembered either for good or for bad and, and to understand that uh, this is here to show what not to do. Even today, books are burned due to extremist and religious or political ideological worldviews. In 2002, books by J.K. Rowling were burned in the U.S., Moscow and Mexico, saying, for instance, that Harry Potter is the Antichrist. In 2006, neo-Nazis in Pretzen, Germany, burned the diary of Anne Frank which they considered to be a lie. In 2011, Reverend Terry Jones in Florida organized the burning of the Quran, causing a riot in Afghanistan that cost the lives of eight foreign UN staff members. I find it shocking. So, I find it schlimm, that there are people who do such things and that man so verblendet sein kann. Und I think it's just as bad. I think it's. Uh regardless of whose books are being burned. I think it's a, it's a travesty to, for anybody to do, do that sort of thing to any race, religion, yeah. creed, whatever. It's, yeah, it's no government's right to take someone's, or whether it be religion or, 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 uh, or just way of thinking away. It's just not right. Ignorance is ignorance, you know. It doesn't really help anyone. Um, burning books is quite a, it's quite a powerful act, really. Um, and you can disagree with something like, you know, he didn't have to agree with the Quran, however, you certainly shouldn't be burning it. I mean, it's not sensible. I mean, 
ich denke mal, man lernt auch aus Fehlern und gerade, dass der Nationalsozialismus, also es war zwar lange ein Tabu darüber zu sprechen, aber heutzutage ist es ja nicht mehr so. Und ich glaube, dass man aus diesen Fehlern lernt und dass es heute unvorstellbar wäre, wenn sowas in Deutschland stattfinden würde.